How to remove backgrounds in Canva. It's something a lot of people ask about and is so simple and useful once you know how to do it. If you're not familiar, Canva is one of the best graphic design tools out there and has so many amazing features that allow you to apply effects that would otherwise take you quite a long time to do in other softwares like Photoshop. Canva's background remover is one of these features and honestly is one that I use almost every single day in my business. So in this video, I'm showing you how to remove a background in Canva and what kind of designs you might wanna use this feature for. Let's dive in. All right, so here we are inside of Canva and I've brought in my own photo to use for our first example here. So I wanna show you where you would find the background remover when you bring your photo in. You're gonna select your photo just by clicking on it and then come up here to the top left corner where this menu is, where it says edit photo. You're gonna click on that and that'll bring up this menu of different options for your photo. So the first subcategory here says tools and we see our background remover right here with this little beach ball. Now you can tell that the background remover is a pro only effect that is for Canva pro users by this little crown symbol. We can see also this magic eraser has a little crown symbol in the bottom right hand corner. Anything that's showing this crown symbol means that that is a pro feature for pro users only. So Canva pro is their paid subscription plan and you can get it just for about $10 a month if you pay annually, which I think is an amazing deal for everything you get with Canva Pro. But if you haven't tried Canva Pro yet, I do have a link in the description box below for a free trial if you'd like to try it out free for 30 days. So we're gonna click on background remover and that'll instantly take the background out of our photo. So we can see here, let's go back. There's my background. And now when I click it, it automatically removes that background, leaving the foreground subject. So this is an absolutely amazing feature because it's literally one click and you can remove the whole background. There's several different reasons you might wanna use this in different types types of designs you might want to use this for. So I'm going to go through my top three ways that I use this background remover to give you some ideas. Number one is for marketing graphics. And this is using the background remover to sort of mimic a masking and layering effect, like something you might do with Photoshop. So here I'm going to go back to my original photo with the background. I'm going to keep this, but I want to duplicate my picture and create another copy of it by clicking here where it says duplicate. So I'm going to click that. That gives me an immediate duplicate of this picture. See, I can move it around. So what I'm going to do here is leave this top copy selected and I'm going to come back to the background remover and remove the background from just the top picture. So I can see if I'm moving this top picture around, I'm still here with the background, but then I've got the second picture without the background. So now I'm going to line this up right over my original so it looks like it's still one picture. And then I can do something like add a square shape if I want to make this appear like it's coming out from behind me standing there, I can move my square slightly overlapping this picture. Of course, I can always change the color of this to my brand colors. I can make it more transparent if I like by bringing this transparency slider down and making this box the size I'd like it to be. So there's my box. We can see it's still on top of me in the photo. I want it to look like it's coming out from behind me. So I'm gonna select this box again and come up to position, click backward, and that takes it back one layer which is bringing it actually behind this top photo of me that I removed the background from. So we can tell if I'm clicking on this photo of me and moving it around, we've got the different layers. We've got the background photo, the box, and then this top layer without the background that makes it appear like it's on top of the box. I can then always add some text here for whatever I'm wanting my marketing message to be and continue my design using this really cute little box here. This is a great and quick way to use the background remover to just level up your images and make them look that much more pro level and polished. Now, another thing I might use this for would be a digital product to sell. I'm excited to show you the next thing we can do with the Canva background remover, but if you're interested in selling digital products online, then I have a free gift for you that I think is gonna be really helpful for you. It's my free digital product starter guide that's gonna walk you through everything you need to know for starting a digital products business, everything from learning file types and sizing to aspect ratios and all of those technical terms that can sometimes feel really overwhelming and confusing. In my starter guide, I break it down step by step and easy to understand bite-sized chunks so that you can feel confident as you get started creating and selling digital products. So if you'd like to download that, it's completely free. I'll put the link in the description box below. You can grab that right after you watch this video. So let's say I'm wanting to create something like a digital checklist to sell on a place like Etsy. I could come into Canva and choose right here. I've got a US letter size canvas. So this is an eight and a half by 11 page. And I'm wanting to create a checklist on this page. So of 
course, I would go through the whole process of creating my checklist the way I want it to look. I'm not going to do all of that for this demonstration, but I want to show you the part of this that involves the background remover. So let's say I've already gotten my whole checklist created and I want to add some really cute visual elements. I could come over to elements and search for something that I'm looking for, like let's say a palm tree. Then I would click over to photos and I see all of these different photos that I can use of a palm tree. Now some are free and some are pro. So of course I want to read up on Canva's licensing terms for how I can use these in digital products to sell. But let's say I like this photo. So I'm going to click this to add it and I'm going to come again to edit photo and my background remover. I'm going to remove that background from the photo and I'm left with just the palm trees here. So now I could do something like put this in the corner. I could make it larger or smaller to fit the size of my checklist, but this is just something I could do with a real photo in removing the background to add to one of my digital products. Remember, I can always change the background color here to whatever I like, or I could even come to elements and search for something like a pattern. So let's say I search for boho pattern. I could then add a pattern, size the background, click position and send backward. And there I've got a cute little pattern behind my photo here. And then the third way I might use this would be for a YouTube thumbnail. So this is something I use often in my own YouTube thumbnails. And I love that you can come on Canva and just create a YouTube thumbnail size preset canvas. So this is the size of a regular YouTube thumbnail. Of course, I want to have all the different elements like a catchy background color and text that is saying the name of my video or whatever I want it to say for my thumbnail. And then I'm going to bring in my own photo here that I'm going to remove the background from. So we can see in this photo, it's not the best, most eye catching background for a YouTube thumbnail. So I'm going to leave that photo selected and come again to my background remover, click to remove the background. And there I've got just myself in the photo that I can size up and place where I'd like for this thumbnail. If I want to go a step further, I can leave this photo selected and add a shadow effect by coming over here again underneath where the tools menu was to effects and click on shadows. And I can either choose a glow shadow, a drop shadow, or an outline. So let's see what the glow shadow looks like. When I apply that, you can just see this nice little lift effect behind me. It's not too drastic, but I can make it more intense or less intense with this slider. So for YouTube thumbnail, if I'm really wanting this to be catchy and to stop the scroll, then I might make it pretty intense. And again, work with the sizing of my photo to get it where I'd like it to be. Then I'd go on to add my text over here to the left and complete my YouTube thumbnail exactly how I'd like it to look. So there you go, friends. That's how you use the Canva background remover tool. And those are a few different ideas for what you might want to use it for in your designs. Don't forget to click that link in the description box below to download your free digital product starter guide if you're interested in starting to sell digital products online. And if you're totally new to Canva, you can click here to hop over and watch my Canva for beginners tutorial. It's a step-by-step -step walkthrough of getting familiar with Canva and all of the tools available for you to use in your designs. Talk soon, friends. Okay.